People, my people, welcome to the Pinot Noir Gin Sour. It is a cocktail invented by accident. A lot of accidents in my life, but it goes down like a fat kid having a heart attack, and you won't be able to get enough of it. Why make one when you can make six? Thank you, people, my people. Hit that subscribe button and go and make yourself a Pinot Noir Gin Sour, for God's sake. People, my people, welcome back to Best Aussie Booze News and Reviews. And this evening, I am doing the cocktail that I threatened. Gary and Amy from Hill Martin Gin that I would actually do. It is straight off their website with its their Pinot Noir Gin. <clears throat> now, unlike their website, I am not strolling their recipe. For the simple reason, I had salmonella about 12 years ago. So the idea of using raw egg white in anything is, well, folks, it's just not going to happen. Okay, trust me. Nearly dying was not my favorite event. There's a couple of people here who wouldn't have existed uh, had I died. Mind you, some days I make, I'll make them wish that they all wanted to be dead. So this is the recently released Pinot Noir Gin. There is plenty of grape-based gins in Australia. Four Pillars does one, and I'll say straight up and down because I've been quoted online. If you tried Four Pillars and liked it, you are going to absolutely adore this stuff. Sound of happiness. So, you may have noticed that Front and centre, there is a glass full of ice in it. I'm going to pour a healthy measure. Yeah, my wife's had one of those days. So it's a healthy measure of this gin. Now, the other wonderful exotic ingredient <clears throat> that is found in almost every backyard in Melbourne is lemons. And I'm just going to squeeze a whole lot of lemon into this. And folks, this is your cocktail. Yes, it's a lemon sour. Now, I'm going to be tricky. I'm going to stir this because I test drove this on my severely, oh my God, I just want to kill people type wife this evening. And then I added ingredients. So I added soda water, which another sound of happiness than we hope. Yep, that's definitely a sound of happiness. So, Gary and Amy, I'm altering your recipe. No egg whites, but I'm thinning it out and making it a lemon sour spritz. That is right, isn't it? People are looking at me going, don't know, fuck if I know. Too late to think. There's alcohol. I don't want to think. It's alcohol. So this is the kind of like recipe that I promised Gary and Amy, because like I say, consuming raw, raw eggs after having had salmonella with all the joy that didn't entail, is not going to happen. So I've altered the recipe and then made it a lemon sour, a gin sour spritz. Yes, I've had a couple of reviews this evening. Thank you, Gary and Amy, and a big shout out to them because they kind of like provided my free tickets to the Good Wood, Good Wood Wine and Food Festival. Yes, I have been drinking this evening. And you can guarantee there's going to be another cocktail next week. And there won't be any fuck ups like there was with the Port Phillip Island, sorry, the Phillip Island iced tea, where I successfully banged a hole in a glass and then spilt about half a litre of tea all over my fucking kitchen floor just when I was telling people that I was the intelligent one in my family. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, and uh, remember these are the cocktails that look, they look good, but they damn well taste it. Bye.